that's Australia. There are a lot of isolated regions in this continent. Imagine a job that involves helping 200,000 isolated patients over 7.5 million square miles of the Australian outback. The job means dealing with the risks of lying in bad weather conditions. It includes treating patients on remote sheep farms, operating with basic equipment and making emergency landings to save critically ill patients. This is the daily life of those working for the Royal Flying Doctor Service of Australia. Living in the outback means almost complete isolation for thousands of Australians. It's unusual to find homes or small villages within 60 miles of each other, let alone a hospital. The IFDSA, which is a non-profit charity, was set up in 1928. Since then, it has been helping those who live in remote areas of Australia. Today it offers primary health care from an airplane, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, as well as educational assistance. If the doctors are unable to treat a patient, they will fly them to the nearest hospital to be treated there. Sometimes it's very impressive for people to watch doctors parachuting to their patients. 